In audio reviews, audio media rep part 103, Ida Eggfort from Dimension 20 Fantasy High. Yes, I'm a D&D nerd, and I don't know why this surprises people. Um, Ida shows up in the middle of season two. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but she's an NPC who is a half Phoenix divination wizard and is confirmed autistic. She sees everything very algorithmically, and when she doesn't understand the precise workings behind something, she will pause what she's doing until she can figure it out. She views all interactions as transactions and doesn't like gifts because that's not an even transaction. She really struggles with tone, often saying things aggressively by accident or with zero intonation, and generally is pretty upfront and to the point. She acknowledges herself that she is, quote, difficult to be around, and when she feels big emotions, she just kind of runs away until she's processed them. But not like emotionally processed, more like she just cognitively explains why emotions exist and why she may be feeling certain ones, and that calms her down enough to move on. Terribly relatable. She also doesn't quite get how the distinction between acquaintance and friend and best friend works, but she's doing her best. And her brain just like runs at hyperspeed in comparison to everybody else's to the point where she is not thinking on the same plane of existence. I love her. I love that she was created as accidental rep and then people pointed it out and they just confirmed it as canon. And also she's queer, which is anywhere from four to eight times more likely for autistics than the general population, depending on the study you read. So shout out to Dropout. Y'all rock. Y'all already know that. Thank you for the rep. And also please let me know which campaign I should watch next because I'm really indecisive.